Greetings children. Let's start. Geography. Chapter 5 Minerals and Energy Resources. Haban comes to Guwahati with his father from a remote village. He sees people getting into strange house-like objects which move along the road. He also sees a kitchen, dragging a number of house along with it. He is amazed and asked his father, why? Don't our houses move like the one we saw in Guwahati, Ba? Ba replies, these are not houses, they are buses and trains. Unlike our houses these are not made of bricks and stones, metal like iron and aluminium are used in making these. They do not move on their own. They are driven by an engine which needs energy to work. We use different things in our daily life made from metal. Can you list a number of items used in your house made of metals? Where do these metals come from? You have studied that the Earth's crust is made up of different minerals embedded in the rocks. Various metals are extracted from these minerals after proper refinement. Rocks. Various metals are extracted from these minerals after proper refinement. Minerals are an indispensable part of our lives. Almost everything we use, from a tiny pin to a towering building or a big ship, all are made from minerals. The railway lines and the tarmac, paving, of the roads, our implements and machinery too are made from minerals. Cars, buses, trains, aeroplanes are manufactured from minerals and run on power resources derived from the earth. Even the food that we eat contains minerals. In all stages of development, human beings have used minerals for their livelihood, decoration, fe festivities, religious and ceremonial rites. A bright smile from toothpaste and minerals toothpaste cleans your teeth. Abrasive minerals like silica, limestone, aluminium oxide and various phosphate minerals do the cleaning. Fluoride which is used to reduce cavities, comes from a mineral. Fluorite. Most toothpaste are made white with titanium oxide, which comes from minerals called rutile, ilmenite and anatase. The sparkle in some toothpastes comes from mica. The toothbrush and tube containing the paste are made of plastics from petroleum. Find out where these minerals are found? Dig a little deeper and find out how many minerals are used to make a light bulb. All living things need minerals life processes cannot occur without minerals. Although our mineral intake represents only about 0.3% of our total intake of nutrients, they are so potent and so important that without them we would not be able to utilize the other 99.7% of foodstuffs. Dig a little deeper and collect nutritional facts printed on food labels. What is a mineral? Geologists define mineral as a homogeneous, naturally occurring substance with a definable internal structure. Minerals are found in varied forms in nature, ranging from the hardest diamond to the softest talc. Why are they so varied? You have already learned about rocks. Rocks are combinations of homogeneous substances called minerals. Some rocks, for instance limestone, consist of a single mineral only, but majority of the rock consist of several minerals in varying proportions. Although, over 2,000 minerals have been identified, only a few are abundantly found in most of the rocks. A particular mineral that will be formed from a certain combination of elements depends upon the physical and chemical conditions under which the material forms. This, in turn, results in a wide range of colors, hardness, crystal forms, luster and density that a particular mineral possesses. Geologists use these properties to classify the minerals. Study of minerals by geographers and geologists Geographers study minerals as part of the Earth's crust for better understanding of landforms. The distribution of mineral resources and associated economic activities are of interest to geographers. A geologist, however, is interested in the formation of minerals, their age and physical and chemical composition. However, for general and commercial purposes minerals can be classified as under Mode of occurrence of minerals, where are these minerals found? Minerals are usually found in ores. The term ore is used to describe an accumulation of any mineral mixed with other elements. The mineral content of the ore must be in sufficient concentration to make its extraction commercially viable. The type of formation or structure in which they are found determines the relative ease with which mineral ores may be mined. This also determines the cost of extraction. It is, therefore, important for us to understand the main types of formations in which minerals occur. Minerals generally occur in these forms. Iron igneous and metamorphic rocks minerals may occur in the cracks, crevices, faults or joints. The smaller occurrences are called veins, and the larger are called lodes. In most cases, 
They are formed when minerals in liquid slash molten and gaseous forms are forced upward through cavities towards the Earth's surface. They cool and solidify as they rise. Major metallic minerals like tin, copper, zinc and lead etc. are obtained from veins and lodes. Roman II and sedimentary rocks a number of minerals occur in beds or layers. They have been formed as a result of deposition, accumulation, and concentration in horizontal strata. Coal and some forms of iron ore have been concentrated as a result of long periods under great heat and pressure. Another group of sedimentary minerals include gypsum, potash salt, and sodium salt. These are formed as a result of evaporation especially in arid regions. Roman III Another mode of formation involves the decomposition of surface rocks and the removal of soluble constituents, leaving a residual mass of weathered material containing ores. Bauxite is formed this way. Classification of minerals Minerals can be classified into the following three types on the basis of their composition metallic minerals, non-metallic minerals, and energy minerals. Classification of minerals based on these properties minerals can be classified as metallic, non-metallic, and energy minerals. Metallic minerals further classified as ferrous minerals which contain iron E, G iron or nickel or non-ferrous minerals which did not contain iron E, G copper tin precious minerals E, G gold, silver etc. Non-metallic minerals are E, G mica, salt, potash, granite, limestone, sulfur, marble, etc. Energy minerals are the sources of energy, e.g. coal, petroleum and natural gas.